And then on uh, the uh, the health care, the, the issue of the employer mandate being delayed a year, under what authority did the White House decide to implement that law a year later than the law itself calls for? I mean, it's well, a law passed John, I mean, I, there are experts uh, uh, a plenty who can uh, Provide the specifics for you on this, both inside and outside the of government. The chairman of the Demo of the uh, of the. I, I, I highly recommend uh, picking up authority. any issue of the Federal Register and finding in it examples of rules and 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 uh, waivers and that sort of thing. This is this is not an unusual process, mm -hmm. and uh, you know this is reflects an effort that the hue and cry, uh, the you know the the calamitous hollering that you hear is reflective of a political and partisan effort. To undermine Tom Harkin, are you saying no. that he's? No, you're not talking about Tom Harkin. You're talking about the Republican Tom effort said you had to, no authority to, do to, this. to complain about uh, the the listening to business to postpone a deadline that affects four percent of businesses with fifty or more employees uh, when you know they've done everything they can to undermine the law from day one. They don't want to see it implemented. They've made that clear. So. Uh, we're listening. We're, we're, we're being uh, put, put on, John. On you can schedule. pretend this is about Tom Harkin, but you know it's not. And uh, you know the fact is, this is we have demonstrated since the passage of the Affordable Care Act that we uh, you know, will make improvements where uh, those uh, improvements make sense. We will uh, be flexible in its implementation where being flexible <laughs> makes sense. I mean, everybody recently, to their credit, who's written about this has noted the comparison here to the passage of Medicare Part D, which. You know, was an initiative, a, a, a top priority of President George W. Bush when it came to domestic uh, policy. And it passed, and a lot of Democrats uh, opposed it, but it passed. Uh, and Democrats did not, once it passed, engaged in efforts to undermine it every step of the way. Instead, they, now once it became law, engaged in an effort to make sure that the American people, the people they represented, enjoyed the benefits of the law. And I expect that most constituents who potentially would get insurance for the first time in their lives or the first time in a long line, uh, a long time if they are made aware of the possibility of enrolling in these uh, marketplaces would expect that their representatives, their senators, whether they're Democratic or Republican, would help them in that process rather than uh, doing everything they can to prevent their constituents from enjoying the benefits of the Affordable Care Act. What do you say to the Republicans that, that, that say on the issue of immigration that if the White House can simply decide to delay implementation of certain aspects of bills that, that passed, that I mean, you'll just again, I mean, it is, delay it is, implementation it is a, of the border security. People, people who, who suggest that there's anything unusual about the delaying of a deadline and the implementation of a, of a complex and comprehensive law uh, are, you know, deliberately sticking their heads in the sand or, or, or just willfully ignorant about past precedent. It's just not, it's not serious. And you know, we are going about the business of implementing this law, and we're going about the business of implementing it in a way that maximizes the benefits available to the American people, uh, that minimizes the difficulties in the implementation process for business as well as individuals, and we're going to keep at it.